Today is January the 21st, 2020. I have several incoming packages, so we're gonna go ahead and see what arrived. All right, so I guess we'll start with uh, the biggest one first. Um, most of these really don't know what they are, so that's always kind of exciting. cling wrap so what this is is a 118 scale static zombie um, so I'm interested in seeing how accurate it is oh it's actually uh, made of some kind of metal that's kind of neat very cool looking if it was plastic I was actually thinking about uh, cutting the arms and trying to give it articulation but in this case uh, I don't think I will. I think I'll just leave it, but really nice paint job to it. And they gave a um, card with a coupon with it too. So if you're interested in this type of thing, you too can get 10% off. Um, I'm going to pause it one second. I want to see if I can grab a 118. So here it is compared to a uh, G.I. Joe. That comes in at about four inches. Um, scales decently. And to give it a further uh, comparison, here he is compared to a Star Wars figure. Um, so really can go fine with either line. I kind of always like a little bit of height variance. Um, gives it a little more sense of a realism to it. Um, so, that works for me. So this is a, uh, I believe it was McFarlane, uh, Trinity figure from the Matrix. And this is a complete figure. So it comes with uh, two pistols, a knife, and a rifle. Now, while I'm not such a fan of this uh, poorly articulated body, I guess for the year it wasn't terrible. Um, what my goal is, is to uh, replace it with a uh, articulated body and basically just use the head and um, possibly the boots because I really do like the way they look. Um, but either way, uh, I got her, paid about nine bucks shipped for her. Um, so I'll have her for an upcoming custom. Uh, next up is a Batman figure, um, which I actually picked up solely for the head. And um, the goal here is to use this head for my General Hawk custom from uh, the G.I. Joe line. And I really do think this, um, I may or may not paint the hair. Um, I do like that it has some gray in it already. But I just thought it would be a really good looking General Hawk. So that was uh, that was that purchase. So we got an Avenger sticker. Um, and again, this is, and I've had his stuff on before from Justin's Customs. Um, 
from eBay. And he 3D prints uh, a lot of really neat things. This one in particular is a 1 12th scale um, iPhone. Gosh, this little bag is really tight. So I think that's, uh, that's pretty neat. I want to do a quick comparison. I picked up one um, last week, which I showed that was from uh, mass produced in China. So we'll see what the difference is there. So here are the two. This is the one um, that I just picked up. This is the 3D printed version. This is the one from uh, China. The price difference, this was $8 shipped. This was about $2.50 shipped. Um, both are pretty cool. Um, I do like the idea of having a little bit of uh, variation. So that works. Um, so I'm not really picking one over the other. That I will leave up to you. And the Avenger sticker is going to go on my uh, parts box. Next up. This is a uh, roadblock machine gun that I picked up. I'm not going to open up. I'm going to leave it protected for now. Um, I picked up to go with a um, truck that I'm working on so I can use it as a mounted gun. And then I also picked up, um, please would believe these were General Hawk figures. And the only thing they're missing are, well, all the accessories and most importantly the head. Um, but the neat part was these were on sale for $2.50 a piece. And I think they're really great looking figures. And for that price, I picked up four of them, uh, four, five of them. And that was everything they had in stock. So they are mine. And last, absolutely not least. So these are two of the uh, Netflix uh, Punisher guns. And uh, the same thing as with the roadblock gun, I got this to get mounted on the top of a um, 112 scale vehicle. So I think that's really cool. Um, I forget what I paid for these, but they were relatively inexpensive. So anyway, that's what I got for tonight. Uh, as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you later keep watching for the next video come back soon bye, bye.